Good morning everyone. Today is a great day to farm for the new set for my beloved Geo Boys, isn't it? Well, no. I've been trying to find some decent pieces for three weeks now. But RN God has decided it's not my time yet. In particular, I found only one sand with defense, and terrible substat, and quite a lot of sand with attack, some even not bad. So, after looking at the statistics of the best boy Ito I was wondering if maybe a sand with attack would be okay, until I found a better sand with defense. Because yes, the sand with defense is better. If you wanted to hear this, well, it's obvious unfortunately, in any case, I wanted to do some easy maths and so I started doing some calculations. Best boy Ito. Ascended to LV80 because I'm not rich enough to bring him to 90, has 211 in attack, 892 in defense and 24.2% in critical rate. I will only consider a 4-piece build from the new set, Husk of Opulent Dreams. The description is clearly a wall of text, if you want to read it please pause the video, but we are mainly interested in two things, the two pieces give me plus 30% in defense and the four pieces, assuming it has four stacks, give me plus 24% in GODMG and defense. As for the main stat, obviously the flower and his HP aren't useful. The feather has 311 attack at level 20. The goblet obviously has to be geo damage and the hat since it goes up with the rate and I can't afford his weapon, it's crit damage. Anyway this is a very easy calculation. We will not keep account of crit rate, crit damage and geo damage, since they must all be multiplied after having the base value, for sand, on the other hand. I want to understand if the difference between attack and defense is really so great. Attack gives me a 46.6% while defense a 58.3% at level 20 for the weapon I have nothing better than the white blind, I hypothesize it at LV90 and R5. The basic attack is 510, while the substat is 51.7% in defense. His passive is very good, as he increases attack and defense by 12% for each stack. Also in this case I hypothesize it with all the stacks. So a 48% more in attack and defense. Then last two points, burst and passive talent. When elemental burst is used, the attack increases by a certain percentage of its defense. Talent at level 9 gives me a 97.2% defense attack bonus, not bad at all. His passive Bloodline of the Crimson Oni talent also increases basic attack damage by 35% of Ito's defense. So, quickly doing a couple of maths, if we use sand with defense we should do this simple calculation, to which we take the basic defense and then add all the various percentages. Eventually it will turn out that defense is around 2703 as for attack, the calculation is very similar, but remember to add the basic attack of the weapon along with the basic attack of the character. And then you must also remember what his burst does. Without these beautiful calculations it is about 1378, to which 97.2% of defense must be added, which brings the result to 4005, oh wow. Rather high I did not expect it. Ah yes, always keep in mind that here everything is taken with the maximum weapon stack and artifacts, which you will almost never have during a normal play. So, small recap. With the sand with defense we will have 2703 in defense and 4005 in attack. With the passive talent we will have a damage bonus of about 950 per hit. Now let's move on to sand with the attack. The calculations here are pretty much the same as before, so here's a fast forward with some nice tune in the background, enjoy.
In conclusion, with the sand with attack we have about 500 fewer on defense and 100 fewer on the attack, and the DMG bonus is also lower. I have to say, I thought a lot worse in reality, although 100 in attack will be felt, as geo damage and crit damage must be added. But I must say that as a temporary solution it seems more than acceptable. In the meantime Ito wait, that sand with the defense will come to you too, Materu frowning face.